Governor Neil Abercrombie has signed a bill into law that could make it easier for the state to renovate aging facilities or to construct new buildings. KITV4's Kilke Kerr tells us which projects could benefit from the new law. The state's Kamamalu building right across from the state capitol has been empty since 2003 because the state didn't have the $27 million to renovate it. That building has been in that situation for the last eight years. Under this bill, you would be able to finish that building. A bill just signed by the governor would allow public-private partnerships to renovate and build state buildings. For instance, a private developer could buy some or all of the Kamamalu building from the state, renovate it, then lease it back to the state, while state taxpayers would still own the land beneath the building and could charge lease rent for the parcel. And the key is keeping the cost of the state down to a minimum level. Andres Albano of the commercial real estate firm C.B. Richard Ellis says this method has been used across the mainland for years. Our company has been doing it in, we've been working on this model in 18 different states and two other provinces in, uh, in Canada. The new law could also spur development here on the slopes of Diamond Head, where the University of Hawaii has long planned to build a culinary arts training facility. The project has been planned for the old Cannon Club site for more than eight years, with architectural drawings long since completed, but the state has been unable to come up with millions of dollars to build the new facility. It opens up a whole, uh, a whole new avenue of, of constructing new buildings, and again, it's just another means of financing these buildings. It's nothing magic. It's bringing additional monies to the state. Yoki Kerr, KITV4 News. The State Department of Accounting and General Services will administer the new partnership program, and it's compiling a list of state properties best suited for the program.